This might be the most interesting molecule that's around in terms of the nutritional supplement profile, and it is called astaxanthin. It is a unique carotenoid, a pigment that is found in salmon and lobster shells and shrimp. It is a pigment that gives these things their reddish tone color. Astaxanthin is not just a pigment, it's actually a powerful carotenoid. It's one of the hundreds of carotenoids Think beta carotene, lycopene, lutein, actually 20 times more powerful than beta carotene. It is 500 times more powerful than alpha tocopherol, which is vitamin E, which you've probably seen in many antioxidants and skin serums. And it is a thousand times more powerful than vitamin C, which is a precursor for collagen production. In this video, we're gonna talk about the benefits, the studies, the safety, efficacy, and profile of this actual molecule. Go through the studies one by one that are most relevant to skin health. And then we're gonna pivot to the overall health. It turns out this molecule has a wide variety of applications for human health, from eye health, to metabolic health, to cardiovascular health, and certainly for anti-aging and skin health. So what is astaxanthin? Again, it is a natural carotenoid found in foods, in specifically seafoods such as shrimp, salmon. In fact, if you ate a 30 ounce salmon filet, which would be massive, that's a big, big steak, you would get around six milligrams. You can imagine most people probably are not getting astaxanthin on a regular basis in their diet, but it's been quite interestingly studied. I'm gonna go through some of the science around anti-aging because it's quite fascinating. They gave 60 women aged 35 to 60 years old in the study, Cominga 2012, and they studied it on elasticity and moisture within the skin. And in the study, what they found was that women who took six milligrams or 12 milligrams per day over a course of eight weeks, they found that they were able to measure better elasticity, smoother skin, fewer fine lines. And the takeaway was that astaxanthin actually supports skin hydration and wrinkle reduction. Now there's a second study by Yamashita in 2006 where they combined oral and topical astaxanthin. They actually gave 49 middle-aged women two milligrams a day of astaxanthin in combination with topical. And what they found was that they had, after eight weeks of consistent daily intake, improved elasticity, reduced wrinkles around the eyes, even at lower doses of just two milligrams a day, they saw skin benefits. Now this third study is around UV protection. It was done by Tomonaga in 2017, where they took 23 adults and they gave them four milligrams of astaxanthin over a 10 week period daily. And the results is they measured the skin's sun tolerance. They call this med value. And they were able to determine that the skin was more resilient and had a much higher tolerance. And it was a noticeable change. At four milligrams a day, the astaxanthin actually protected their skin from redness, photo damage from UV exposure. There's a fourth study that was done around skin smoothness. So think anti-aging, this theme here we're seeing with astaxanthin. And it was Secchi in 2000. One. In this study, they had 16 women that took six milligrams a day for four weeks. And even within just a month of taking astaxanthin, they saw a smoother texture, fewer fine lines, and it was consistent from supplementation that that improved their skin quality. It's interesting because in summary, and to wrap up across the trials, anywhere from two to 12 milligrams a day of astaxanthin has shown consistent skin benefits. They've seen improved elasticity, hydration and smoothness, reduced fine lines, increased UV, resilience. And at four milligrams a day, astaxanthin seems to protect the skin both from a UV reduced induction of oxidative stress and erythema, which is when your skin turns red from overexposure of sun. So while it's famous for giving salmon its pink color, it's also quite interesting to see that astaxanthin is also one of the most powerful skin protective nutrients we know of right now. Now with carotenoids, we know that in certain cases like beta carotene, if you're a heavy smoker and you take an exceptionally high dose over a long period of time, we're talking five to seven years plus, there may be an increase and relative risk of cancer for lung cancer. With astaxanthin, there's no dangers that they've studied or noticed in their trials. It has one of the most cleanest profiles of carotenoid pigments. It's really quite fascinating that it's so powerful as an antioxidant, and yet it doesn't have that almost reflex inverse effect in people in terms of safety. And they've tested at up to 40 milligrams a day in humans with no major safety issues. At very high doses, they have seen some upset stomach and harmless changes in stool color. Actually, your stool will turn red. The other thing that they noticed in these studies was that it's considered extremely safe, very safe, at two to 12 milligrams per day. So there's really not a lot to be concerned about with astaxanthin. For clinical safety, the data has shown that they've studied two to 40 milligrams for weeks to months, and they have not noticed any adverse effects. Most skin health studies, whether it's anti-aging or skin resilience from sun, are two to 12 milligrams per day dosing. 
Across these studies, there's been no serious side effects reported. And to take the safety thing even to a more extreme, in the animal models, they've done dosing at hundreds of milligrams per kilogram, and they have not seen any systemic toxicity of astaxanthin. So this molecule is considered quite safe, and they have not seen any evidence at significantly high doses. We're talking hundreds of milligrams per kilogram, a very high saturation level with no serious outcomes shown in animal models. Now the FDA and Safety Review Commission recognizes and says it's safe up to 12 milligrams per day, but as we just mentioned, there's literally nothing that's shown any sort of link of any concerns. Now, switching gears, we talked about the skin health. It provides both an anti-aging effect, a UV resilience and protection aspect. I forgot to mention this is quite interesting, but skin tone evidence, Tominga et al. in 2012 in Japan, they studied 65 healthy women aged 35 to 60, and they did a double blind study for eight weeks where they gave six milligrams or 12 milligrams. That was a study we mentioned earlier. Not only did they see outcomes of elasticity and moisture and age spots, but they saw tone and clarity improve. So they were able to measure improvements in the skin elasticity, the smoothness, reduced fine lines, but it also led to improved skin tone and reduced age spot size melanin index. It has shown to improve skin tone. In the Yamashita 2006 study, there was also measurable notes of skin tone. It improved skin tone and texture along with better elasticity. That was at two milligrams a day orally, and they noticed a reduction in crow's feet around the eyes in better elasticity. Interestingly enough, astaxanthin has more than just skin health properties. It has other properties. In fact, there's a couple studies that have been done on eye health. In particular, there's one from Nakagawa et al. in 2011, where they gave participants six milligrams a day for four weeks, and they saw improved accommodation ability, eye focus, and reduced eye fatigue in 20 healthy subjects. It was a smaller trial, but it helped reduce digital eye strain. And they did a couple other smaller trials around eye health where they showed benefits from digital eye strain and retinol blood flow. There's something there in the astaxanthin molecule that's affecting and improving the eye's ability to handle oxidative stress. And it makes sense. This is a powerful antioxidant, one of the most powerful ones we know of. Exercise and recovery. There was a study done by Bloomer et al. in 2005 where they gave participants four milligrams of astaxanthin over 30 days, and they saw reduced markers of oxidative stress in resistance-trained men. Malmsten et al. in 1998, so this is a little dated, they supplemented improved endurance in cyclists by reducing lactic acid buildup. Again, this molecule has quite a few benefits and I know I'm sounding like I'm an astaxanthin seller here. This is just the science. I'm just sharing what is good and what is bad and what is the reality. Cardiovascular health, there's also two studies that were done here about cardiovascular health where participants were given in Yoshida et al. 2010, 12 milligrams a day for 12 weeks of 61 adults and they saw improved lipid profiles. In this case, they actually saw increased HDL, reduced triglycerides. Nishida et al. 2020 was another study that was done 10 years later, six to 12 milligrams a day. And the results is they saw improved blood flow and reduced oxidative LDL markers. It seems to have this effect where it supports the vascular health via antioxidant anti-inflammatory pathways. Two more studies here to mention that are worth considering is a metabolic health one where they gave 20 milligrams over 12 weeks to overweight adults and it reduced CRP. HSCRP is the C-reactive protein is one of the most common ways you test for systemic inflammation in the human body. So the fact that they saw a reduction in HSCRP, quite interesting and intriguing and impressive. And then there's also some research around neurological and cognitive enhancements around astaxanthin crossing the blood brain barrier. And in Park All in 2018, they gave participants 12 milligrams over a 12 week period and they saw improved cognitive scores and reduced oxidative stress markers in middle-aged adults. Potential neuroprotective effects, though evidence is still pretty early. I think the summary here is that there's a lot to take away from astaxanthin. If you're considering taking it or you're interested in learning more about it, the elasticity, the hydration, the UV resilience, even at doses of two milligrams per day, the science looks pretty strong. It really does look legit. If you up the dose, there's some stuff around cardiovascular, neuro, exercise, and eye health. Even at six milligrams a day eye health, there's quite a bit there. There you have it, astaxanthin. Maybe we should have been eating salmon on the regular as humans for many, many millennia, and we just have gotten away from our roots 
And this is a pigment that is really just a powerful carotenoid that helps with all these antioxidative benefits. I think astaxanthin is something very interesting to look at. It looks like most of the clinical research shows results at a short period of time of just four to eight weeks. I recommend checking it out. Personally, I take four milligrams a day. I've been doing that for many, many months and I find that it gives my skin much more resilience. I feel like it adds a nice tone to it. And it also has a lot of these antioxidant benefits that so far I've seen no net negatives from my experience. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. I know that was a lot of information to digest, but uh, there's so much to cover with this very powerful carotenoid.